scholar. So he says, Shaykhina, Subhanallah, wa bihamdihi. Didn't even know you were here. Ah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. كيف حالك سمعت انك كنت مريض الحمد لله بارك الله فيك الحمد لله لا باس كيف لا باس الحمد لله لا باس الحمد لله عن شيخنا our scholar our our teacher right our المهيي ذي الكمال ذي الكمال المهيي he's from mahiyi there's another village around around what tanta it's another another village another place around tanta Al-Mahiyyi, Dil Kamali. Now this is a part that we need just just talk about for one second, okay? So his sheikh is from Tanta, Haram Tanta too. These are all the shiuch study Tajweed and scholars of Tajweed that live around this village of Tanta. So Tanta becomes known for this thing. Everybody knows Sheikh Husri, right? So Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And living around Tanta, they they become very proficient in Tajweed. I had the pleasant pleasure and, and the opportunity of living in Tanta for about three years. And I mention that not as like bragging rights, but for the purpose of the student to feel comfortable that I met with these people's grandchildren and their nieces and nephews of the scholars of Tajweed who passed the text on directly. Some of my classmates, one of my classmates was, was um, Sheikh Husri's nephew. So we get to study directly from the people who wrote these things. So you have a direct line through them. And that's, what, that's why we mention these things, not to say, oh, I went here, I know this person, I know that person, like that. But for the purpose, for the student to know where this information is coming from. It's not coming from third party. It's coming from direct. You understand what I mean? Okay, Dil Kamali. Dil Kamali literally means the perfect one. The perfect one. What, how do we take this statement into consideration based on our understanding of Tawheed? First, we have to understand that no one is perfect. Jalla man yashu. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one that's perfect. No one else is perfect. Everyone else has some flaws to them. However, our scholar here, Al Jamzuri Sulaiman Al Jamzuri, rahimahullah, he saw his teacher perfect in his adab, perfect in his outward behavior and his inward behavior from what he understood. And, you know, some people speak. It, it, it going to extremes in, in praising someone, and here is an example of that. You know, and this doesn't take away from us saying, oh, well, we can't take from him now. This, again, this is a classic. But in this case, we don't call anybody the Kamali. We won't do that. Does everybody understand that? Yes. You know, this is a habit that some people have gotten into, but we don't, we don't, we're not going to get into that. But we take note of it. This is what he called them. We memorize this line. We don't change it. We just memorize it and learn it when we teach it to other people that no, we don't go about calling people. Even if you think the person is such a greatest thing since ice cream, you know, you don't call him perfect. Do you understand that? Allah, you have Allah knows best about him. Okay? So this is what we do, and this is what he called him. And Shaykh al Mahiyi Dil Kamali. And it's Mayhiyi. And I wrote it like this on purpose. I could have written it with one ya and did the mushadda, but it's called Mayhiyi. Okay? So you have to extend it. You understand? Can I erase? Okay, get better. Arju bihi an yanfa'at tulaba wal ajr wal qabula wa thawaba. The next line is Arju bihi an yanfa'at tulaba wal ajr wal qabula wa thawaba. After he started, he said, Yaqulu raji rahmat al ghufuri dawman Sulaiman huwa al jamzuri alhamdulillahi musalliyan ala Muhammadan wa alihi wa man tala wa ba'du hadha al nazmu lil muridi fi al nuni wa al tanwini wa al mududi sammaytuhu bi tuhfat al atfali an shaykhin al mayhiyi dhi al kamali أرجو به أن ينفع الطلاب والأجر والقبول والثواب. That's the last line in the introduction and where we're going to end off today. But can I raise? Can I clean up? أرجو به أن ينفع الطلاب والأجر والقبول والثواب. أرجو به أن ينفع الطلاب والأجر والقبول والثواب. And see, we, I'm just going to keep repeating it for you guys so that you can get accustomed to hearing it because you have to teach it. You, you're not learning. I'm not teaching this to you so you guys can be the only people that know it. Each one teach one. That's our motto. You know, you learn it, you perfect it, you pass it on. Okay? You don't hold it in. You pass it on. So, Arju. Let's hear that word. Arju. 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 Arju.
an yanfa'a an yanfa'a tulaba subhanallah arju bihi an yanfa'a tulaba wal ajra wal ajra wal qabula والثواب انا وايت ات اوكي هي سيز ارجو به ان ينفع الطلاب ارجو everybody say ارجو it's again from the word raja remember we went over this word before we said raja means hope right he says يقول راجي رحمه الغفور hoping here is ارجو i hope okay so you learn the word twice. First he said, Raji. He says, Fa'il in the ing word, I am hoping. Now he says, Arju, I hope. Be he with it. It refers to the poem, okay? To the nothum. If you want to use the word the nothum. I hope by this nothum, by this poem, and to, or that, yanfa'a, that it, yanfa'a, that it benefits. It benefits at-tulab. At-tulab is the plural of talib. A talib is someone who seeks. So here what is meant is al-murid. When he mentioned in the beginning, lil-muridi, right? Hada lil-muridi. Fi nuni wa tanwini wal mududi. Mududi. So here is meant is al-murid. At-talib is the plural of the muballagha. And the tulab here, tulab, you can put shadda here. It means the student, the beginner, the apprentice. And the expert, because the beginner, he uses it to get in there. The apprentice, he's struggling with it as he's using it, doing his science. And the scholar, or the, the one who's an expert, he uses it to teach and to refer back to. So here, and this is the explanation that the Sheikh uh, Al-Jamzuri, rahimahullah, he put of his own text. The benefit we have here is this Sheikh wrote his own explanation. So we're pulling directly from his words what he meant when he wrote this right here. He said, I hope for this to help the, t the benefit the students, all the students, the beginners, the ones in the mutawassit, the, the, uh, the, the apprentices, and the experts. Okay? Here in this class, what we intend to buy it is the beginners. Okay? And not the experts and those other people because they already know it. Wal ajra wal qabula wal thawaba. Okay? So wal ajra here, we'll get to that. Qabula is acceptance. Acceptance. Meaning that he hopes that Allah would accept this as a good deed from him. Okay? That Allah would accept it from him as a good thing. We see and we think that and we hope good thoughts that it has been accepted because this text is, like I said, is a primer text for anybody that studies Tajweed. All the different, no matter what madhab you're from, what country you're from, you could be from West Africa, you're from East Africa, you could be from, from Saudi Arabia, or Lebanon, or you could be from Syria, you know this text. 